Hello YouTube, we are back with another redstone tutorial and in today's video we are going to be looking at a 3x3 three three sort of slope door, I think. So if we just turn it on, as you can see, it's really pretty pretty fast and it's also got like a nice closing animation because um, it's got like a this half or this bit right here is like a tiny bit later than this one. So that's uh, pretty cool and that's th that's pretty much that. Um, the opening. So I reckon the closing animation is kind of like a spiral, but like it's like a ripple effect, really. Um, so like this, like all of the outside bit here so, um, turns on first, and then like this one, and then these two right here, and then this one. Um, I think. <laughs> yeah, like that. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so let's just start with a tutorial. Um, so let's just start off with the bottom. Um, and so let's just do the double piston extenders. Um, so you need two double piston extenders right side by side like that. And then have two normal uh, piston, piston extenders like that. So just like one piston and then or one sticky piston really. And then have like your floor right here like that and then that's the bottom layout done um, then you want to have the side layout um, which is going to be just a piston right there or a sticky piston right there with another sticky piston right there and then that's a that's the side layout done um, and so let's just get on with the top layout um, so the top is pretty like relatively simple as well um, uh, the only like sort of like the hard bit is like the like the two doll piston extenders side by side there. That's not really that hard though. Um, now I did this with someone else. Um, uh, it's, he's called MDP87 I think. So uh, MDP87. Um, I think that's the numbers but it's just MDP um, he's known as. I don't really know what the numbers are. If I got them right then Hooray, but <laughs> let's just keep on going, um, and that was my power, just derping once again. Um, so you want to start off with like a sort of, uh, uh, like that pretty much, like two resident dots right there, and then two blocks like that, with your input right there. Um, now you're going to have to like have a, a repeater going into that, um, or like a repeater, so like there either, doesn't really matter. But that's your input. Um, and then you want to have a redstone dust right there. And then I have another one right there. And then what you want to do is you want to get a repeater on four ticks right there. With a block up and then a torch on the side of that. And then have a, a sticky piston with a redstone block like that. And then have a half sub right there. And then have a dust here to redirect that dust. Now that that doesn't actually look redirected um, but that's just like a visual I guess because um, I mean like it works and it's still not really redirected in the visual like animation um, but I think but this is like a transparent block um, uh, surprisingly but I don't know it's it's just weird and works but whatever <laughs> Um, so then you want to get started on the bottom. Um, now the top works already, so it's pretty simple, like that. And then this one goes. So this is um, useful for uh, something that we'll be using later. Um, so then you want to get started with a redstone block right there, um, with a sticky piston like that. And then have your repeater on three ticks right there. And then have a block here on with a yeah redstone dust, and then have a repeater on the other side of that block there. And as you can see, you might know where this is going with this. Um, and I'm I'm getting a bit of FPS lag, no no clue why, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so then you want to have a block up here with a torch on the side of that, not not there, or not that. No, just <laughs> just like that, alright? <laughs> um, and then you want to have a hopper dropper um, monosable, or not really monosable in this case, but 
it it will look like I'm on the table and then so like that um, and then you want to have a uh, any item in the dropper like that um, and then have a I think that's um, and then you want to have like a tripwire hook on this side of the block right there and then have a piece of dust right there and then I'll have a torch right there with a repeater down here on two ticks and then have a block there with a resin dust right there and then have a block there and then you want to have a block there and then have a repeater I think is it a repeater yeah I'm still rusty on the the old design here but then you want to have a, a repeater here on two ticks and then have a dust right there um, and then we're nearly done all we gotta do is we gotta have a brick comparator right there like that um, and then you can like change the item from the dropper because I kind of stuffed that up um, but we're gonna put that on one tick there so like that um, and then let's just test that let's see if it works so the closing works and the opening does as well so I will show you how that works just in a second um, so let's just bring the input over here um, like that um, so what what happens is basically when it op when it closes it's pretty much just like fine um, but this has to go first before like the 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 dust here like goes um, or turns on because like um, because just because it updates immediately because the this one goes or this piston extender goes um, which is uh, which will affect it um, and give it a b b block update. But then what happens? Uh, Alright, so that's the opening, or like the closing really. Um, then in the opening, um, what happens is this turns off first, um, so then these two things get repowered, um, and then so the, the torch turns off here first, and then um, that's my Skype, I'll turn that off. Um, oops. <laughs> um, and then what happens is this one turns off the red zone here which will then turn off the torch here and then all the repeater and then the dust there um, and then that will just do the basic sort of um, retraction um, but leaving one retraction spare and that's where this comes in um, so we're basically just repowering it or like re-unpowering re it um, with this bit right here um, so then it will like um then it will unpower this torch once again so then the torch will turn on and then this the this stuff right here will turn on as well so let's just watch that in action and as you can see there you go um that's it explained and i reckon it's a pretty cool way of doing it um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video rate comment and subscribe and Peace.